Getting Things Changed, an introduction to the project. We started out with a whole raft of different disabled people, which includes people with dementia. Now, a lot of disabled people don't have a voice, and so although they're facing lots of problems in life, um, they don't really feel empowered to change things. And actually that's got worse over the last 30 years or so. So we're seeing loads and loads of barriers that people are facing. But when we came to the dementia group and working with people with dementia, we felt it was really important that they should have a voice and we wanted them to be in the front seat, if you like. And so that was why we were delighted to meet the Dementia Empowerment Network. We've been trying to understand how social practices actually discriminate against people and exclude disabled people from doing things that they want to do. Um, but we've also um, been really keen to understand how that can change. One of the ways would be to think of policies and you know big kind of practice guidance and really influencing governments to change things. And we do feel that that's important, of course, but we have always felt that that's not sufficient because when we have good policies, they don't always actually get acted out in practice. Um, in fact, I'd go further than that. They can never properly be acted out because practices have got a life of their own. Getting Things Changed, an introduction to the dementia aspect of the project, getting good support. Getting good support is all about looking at the kinds of interactions that happen every day, normal interactions, uh, the way people usually speak to each other. Um, we're looking at people with dementia and the people who support them or their conversation partners. So what we wanted to do as much as possible is capture what actually happens in practice, how people really talk to each other. And to do that, we went around to lots of different kinds of places where people uh, interact with support workers, staff, family, friends, and recorded those kinds of conversations. Over the project, we've, we've tried to work these things through with different groups of disabled people, of which the Forget-Me-Not are one example. Hello, my name's Roy and I suffer from vascular dementia. I'm 70 years old. Um, I have early onset dementia and blessed with Parkinson's as well. Um, I go to Forget Me Not each Friday with all my friends, um, which is great. And I'm now working with, well, helping people understand dementia more. I'm 62 and I have early onset dementia. Um, I'm working on this uh, project with uh, Roy and Sandy, uh, working with the University of Bristol. It's to, it's to do with uh, communication um, and we're working with Val and Joe on how to get the message across um, to other organisations. With them, we're thinking about interaction, so the kind of real detail of how things happen between people and how language works. And we're really interested to see how that can make a difference to people's practices. But the Forget Me Not group, like other people with dementia and indeed other disabled people, can't do it on their own. They need practitioners to be working with them, and that's what we've always called co-production. So people who are the practitioners, who are supporting people with dementia can actually learn from the forget-me-nots to make their practices better. Getting things changed, how to use these training films. These training videos um, have been made partly as reconstructions and reenactments of things that we saw in practice and we'd really like people to be able to use those by thinking about how the interactions worked and perhaps working out how they might have ideas of how to do things differently. We know that these interactions are difficult, so sometimes we all try to start conversations with people and they fall flat, or people can't remember things, or we start feeling embarrassed about where the conversation is going. And people with dementia know that as well. But we've just tried to, to show how other people have tackled those issues so that they'll give us moments to think about how to change things. You could use those in different ways. 
Um, so you could just, if you're sitting there just looking at these videos online, that's fine. Um, and when the videos come to pause points, you'll see questions come up on the screen. So you could just pause your video for a moment and have a think about the question that it asks you. Even better if you're with somebody else, because then you could talk about those things together. And in some cases, we're hoping that people might be in groups and be able to try out these scenes as role play exercises really so that they'll give you a basis on which to try something out for yourself. We also hope that these videos will be there for the future so that they're not a blueprint but they can actually help other people to reflect on what they're doing and to change things as they go along. This film was based on research carried out as part of the Getting Things Changed research programme based at Nora Fry Centre for Disability Studies at the School for Policy Studies, University of Bristol. Val Williams was the lead researcher and Joe Webb led on dementia research. You can find out more about the project on our website www.bristol.ac.uk forward slash spa.